I've been reluctant to do this video because the subject matter is quite disgusting to me but I feel as though it's important to do because I might be giving some information to someone that might need it. Um, on, on a couple occasions I'll say about, let's see, one, two, at least three or four times in dreams I have actually seen a demonic entity performing oral sex on me, what, what seemed to be oral sex but I now realize that they were drinking my menstrual blood because um, this would happen during my monthly cycle and you know growing up I would watch the vampire movies and you know I figured it was you know uh, fiction but apparently they get some kind of life force or something out of menstrual blood and will do something as disgusting as drink like menstrual blood in order to get something that they need and I'm thinking it's connected to being to inhabiting a human maybe it gives them more energy or gives the human more energy that I don't know like I don't I don't know the the mechanics of it I don't know how a spirit entity can drink human blood like physical spiritual it seems not to match but if they're using it in order to empower them within another uh, vessel then maybe they're tr I don't know I don't know all I know is that in dreams I have experienced that and um, so to me it just connects in my mind to the vampire movies where you know they're dead and they have to live off of the living they have to take they have to use the life force of the living in order to subsist um, so you know I've, I've and the reason why I was thinking about it, the reason why, you know, I, I already knew that it had happened. I didn't quite know why. I just thought it was disgusting because it was, it would, that's nothing that would even cross my mind. Like, that's gross, you know. But um, I received a dream the other day where, like, um, I don't know, like, I feel as though I was being made to think that I tasted good. Like, you know, almost like, oh, you're, your good tasting, like, you know, to kind of su suggest something to me, maybe to open myself up to be a meal to a demon. And so I started researching it and I started seeing, you know, what I had seen, the color of the, the liquid that I was shown. And it was a dark reddish color that I was being shown. And so that's when I came to the realization that there their main concern in in displaying that is to get me open and maybe even sexually inclined to allow for them to do that to me um, yeah so that does happen and I will say that during my monthly cycle I have noticed times where um, maybe particularly males or you know would would get would act bizarre like strange like demonically the demonically possessed kind or want to be like close to you or close to me and I just wonder if the demons know that I'm on my cycle and they're trying to find a way in order to get in in order to get that life force so you know I don't know like I don't I don't know I don't exactly know how that works. I just know that that is a food source for them. And therefore, you know, now that I know that, I'm more vigilant during that time of the month to try to particularly avoid, especially, you know, people who I suspect to be highly demonically possessed. But it's almost like, I mean, you would almost think that, you know, they're reacting to 
the the humans that are possessed are reacting to like a dog in heat or something you know the way like they'll come near you but it's actually the demons in them trying to get near you to get to the menstrual blood but i'm not you know I, I, I'm not steeped in the occult or anything like that, so it's just disgusting to me, but it is apparently a reality. And I guess the only way you can really guard yourself is to not fall into sin, you know, regardless of how they might try to... Like, I was shown the, the, the dream the other day of me being tasty, like, you know, uh, a demon putting, like... Uh, a dark red liquid on me, you know, like, oh, I want to lick this off of you or something like that. But actually what it wants is the menstrual blood. But as long as you're not in sin, it can't, I would, you know, it can't do that to you. It can't perform like sexual acts on you, I would think. But, you know.